Jane, don't cut off my mind between them. What have I done? What has she done? Your goals. Who's getting dumped? The public have been voting for the most compatible couple. Those with the fewest votes risk being dumped on the island tonight. Oh, step it up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this theme tune, this theme tune just injects it as in, even to my funeral, play the Love Island song. As you're lowering me down in the casket, play the Love Island song. <laughs> Yes! Get in! Get in! Check some pies. What? Huh? What? Get in! 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 Get Inject it! That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Why are you happy? That's not fair. That's our boys back, baby! Are you done? They're going to be ripped apart. Ripped apart! Jackson Page, I feel like David Lekis are going to be ripped apart. Unless Dabney finds someone and Ekin doesn't. Doesn't. That's and then Dabney's gonna be like, bye, bitch, and go to Ekin. Because I even think Ekin will see someone that she likes, but she will force it out exactly. of the Exactly. But well, whoever's the main Castle victim gets the most, like, out of Love Island when they get out. You get the most followers, everything. You wanna be that victim. Yeah, sure. What do you mean the victim? The victim means, I say victim, but then when you, when you come back single and your and man is waiting for another girl. Just like Amber did with Michael. Did you know Amber got the most? Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you were the main cast because you won. You no. want to be the main cast victim. You want to be that girl or that boy. Where's Amber? Amber's in it. Love Island Review episode 22, guys. Daily and consistent content, guys. Someone tell me why Jax and Paige were saved. Why were Jax and Paige saved after everything we've seen this man do to Paige in the last 48 to 72 hours? Why were they saved from being in the bottom two? They needed that shake up. They needed that shake up. Maybe Casa Amor will rip them apart because Casa Amor has finally returned. And it's returning quite early. And I'm happy. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Consistent and persistent, baby. Inject it. And let's get straight into this video. And let's get into... Ah, there's so much we need to get into, guys. This video is sponsored by Frontline Therapists. They are a mental health company that provide affordable and accessible mental health care for everybody involved, but especially for black and brown individuals. They are a very great mental health company. Use my discount code below. It's attached. Everything is in the bio. Go to the website. Everything in the bio. Discount code is for a limited time only. Frontline Therapists, go and check them out. Thank you very much. Now, let's get straight into this video, guys. Loki, did you guys peep that apparently Tasha said to Andrew that, you know, she's in love with him. Nobody cared. Not one person cared, not even, not even Sanjay from production cared. Nobody actually cared that, you know, nobody actually cared. They all ran to Ekansu the other day when they came back from their date. And that just goes to show you that people in the villa are not really convinced about this relationship, just like the public are not, because they both were in the bottom two. This is going to be a shake up from them. Now, I don't think Tasha and Andrew are going home tomorrow, simply because they are in a relationship, the production want to keep that, and see them get ripped apart for Casa Amor would be thoroughly more entertaining for them and more value. So I think it would make more sense for them to be kept for Casa more purely because we need solid couples to break up because the more that break up, the more dramatic it is for us. 110%. I do think that Danica's going home. They will reason it by saying that she's tried with four men, it's a time to go, and Tiggy's newer, and Charlie's definitely going home. He's probably back in Kingsborough, Chelsea, as we speak. And I think that, you know, they're going to want to keep Jay for Jane and Tiggy to have a kind of moment together or something. I don't know, because they don't know that Casa Moore's happening tomorrow. They have no idea. Um, so I do think that, unfortunately, Danica's going to go home. I don't want her to go home, because I think this is the best time for her to thrive. Casa Moore's coming, and she can try with one of these five men, and one of the men would want to come back anyways to elongate their process in the show so i think that she would be in safe hands if only she was kept and i think that we want to see her purely for the reason that she has tried so much and failed you want to see her in the show to succeed so hopefully she does stay but i don't think it looks like it's going to be that way now i don't mean normally don't like couples um 
dating and the slot it's too soppy and annoying like i find it to be like i'm i'm, I'm not really invested in that but with david and ekansu i'm heavily invested them crushing grapes them bantering joking the chemistry between these two um and then you know ekansu going in for that kiss it's a lot and i think that it's very entertaining to watch with these two no matter what they do they have that chemistry it's definitely electric people know that the production knows that and they're going to stay for the finale 110 percent dami and india are going to be in the finale ekansu and davide are going to be in the finale Gemma and luca are going to be in the finale and tasha and andrew are going to be at stansted terminal one because these two are simply not going to make it in any capacity and the way India, the way India is just chilling in this competition, she's not been involved in any of the mess. She's always just looked pretty herself. Saucy, saucy India. The way she's just been chilling, not being involved in any of the dramatics, pissing off any of the islanders in any regards, is just being herself in her own lane, staying focused to her man and hasn't acted out in any capacity. She really is, you know, a well-behaved contestant and i think that you know it sometimes it can be overlooked so i think that i want to reiterate that in this video that i think that you know she definitely is there to be a listener for some of the islanders she's got her man dami on her side as well and it seems that now nothing has shaken dami as of right now and i don't think that these two will be shaken for casa or more and i hopefully it doesn't go that way but you just never know and throughout i think india has just looked great saucy saucy india guys saucy saucy india i'm telling you this girl is just during that challenge, during the heart race challenge, like it's just not even going to any of the other men, but going to her own man, keeping it classy with the other guys. I feel like, you know, things might go well for Dami in India post Casa Amor if they survive it. Now, I don't know why Antigone is due an explanation from Ekansu. You beloved, you've been there for five minutes. Davide, Davide sorry, and Ekansu have been married and divorced like three times. So I don't understand why you feel like you need an explanation. It doesn't make any sense. And I don't think you need one at all. And I think that you need to relax about it. Uh, but I'm glad that they squashed that and it wasn't carried through to anything else because I don't really want to see more beef between the um, the cast as of right now because I was focused on who's getting dumped and also Casa Amor's returning. Now, Casa Amor returning so soon is quite interesting to me. Like, the Harley challenge normally happens post Casa Amor. Casa Amor was meant to happen you know, within five to four days. Why is it happening so earlier? My guess is that the production want to keep the momentum going. They realize that they've got a great season, ratings show it, and therefore they, are, you know, want to keep that up. They don't want to flatline it for a week and keep it boring. And I'm glad that they're doing this because just because you've had a great first half of the season doesn't mean that anybody gets lazy and we get a boring last half. We don't want to see that. So I'm glad that they're picking maintaining the momentum of the audience's interest and i think it was a very good chess move for them to make it said tomorrow night so i feel like we're going to be announced that the person is going to be dumped and then tomorrow they're going to say casa amor is here then they will go into the villas and the people from casa amor will be announced and then sunday we'll begin to see interactions then that would mean that next friday or next sunday is going to be the recouplings so next friday i would imagine is going to be a recoupling and then next sunday is going to be the latter half of the recoupling because love island went to uh, love island went to season seven sorry they split casa amor into two episodes first half some dramatics and the latter half of dramatics Casa Amor is the most ratings it's gold mine that's the most dramatic moment so of course them splitting it up is you know a very money making way of machine similar to how festivals are normally a one day situation but now they've split to two or three days because they want to you know spread out the tickets and spread out the um, events and guests and you know artists playing to make more money it's all about strategy it's all about production skills and what works to rinse out and make more money guys I've got, that, I've got that production mindset. I've just got that mindset already, guys. So you can already tell that I'm coming with that correct information. And I feel like that's how it's going to go. I've been reviewing Love Island since I was 21. I'm 26 now. You guys are literally seeing me grow up into my 30s, reviewing the show every single year. And now you're going to see me review two seasons a year. I don't know how long Love Island has got. But with this being the most highly rated season, I don't think Love Island is going anywhere anytime soon. I think it's going to remain at least for the next four to five years, 110%. We're not leaving with Love Island. I'm probably going to be re re reviewing this for a whole decade. It's absolutely insane. So many Islanders. Insane. But David and Ekansu love their chemistry, love their back and forths. And I would like to see India and Dami go on a similar date like this so we can see them like that. They had a little table dinner, but I wanted to see something outdoor with an activity because I think that would be nice to see. Gemma and Luca being saved, not surprised. They are a strong couple. Luca saying in the hideaway that he's obsessed with you, obsessed with you and everything. It's just, I feel like it's leading up to something, Casimo. I don't know. I can see them both coming back together, not turning their heads, but Luca could pull a Michael and shock the whole villa and that will be an absolute mazzoline i 110 percent see jack's turning i just see his head turning him to be saying oh you know when we first get out let's go to each other's families and then coming back with another girl the next weekend it's going to be an absolute madness guys but all we know is that at least two couples are going to turn
at least two couples. And to be honest with you, I can't really put my finger on who I think is definitely going to turn because you simply don't know. One thing about this season is predictability. We have predicted stuff, what we think is going to happen with these intense recouplings, and we've been wrong. The majority of us have been wrong. They're not as predictable as last season's, and I like that. That's probably why the ratings are high, because it's not as predictable, and it's hard to not be as predictable because we've had so many seasons of this damn show. But I'm here for it. Hopefully you guys are here for it as well. I'm thoroughly enjoying the season. I love the reviews. You've noticed that I have more energy right after Love Island episode because of that dose of dopamine that I get, just and serotonin from watching dramatic stuff like this. For them to have Casa Amor come, I was absolutely shook. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this video. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this review. Ekin Su will come through, guys. Will come through absolutely 110%. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Also, guys, completely forgot to mention, but I will be going live tonight again. Yesterday's live was absolutely hilarious for those who missed it. I was meant to go um, um, and cut it short, but everybody wanted me to go on for much longer. The live was funny. Everybody was laughing and enjoying. So make sure not to miss tonight's live for us to just discuss it, for me to hear your thoughts and reactions and be more immersive. Head over to my TikTok, I'm Murad Murali, for my Love Island reviews over there. Head over to my Instagram as well, Murad underscore Murali. And do you guys think that I should be posting my TikTok reviews on Instagram? I've been thinking about doing it, but really and truly, like, uh, I honestly don't know because there's so many apps these days. But anyway, subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon. And of course, my Twitter for my Love Island live commentary as the episode those go through.